hello, hello, and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas. I'm your host, and I'm rolling solo dolo here on this Madden 19 Browns franchise rebuild. We just finished season six, folks, and we have won our fourth straight Super Bowl. You can see three of the titles in the background there. The other one's on the other side of the desk. So this is our season review. We're just going to kind of go through everybody's stats and things like that that happened this season. Just kind of a quick overview of everything before we get into the off season and start uh, rebuilding the team again. So uh, let's go ahead and go to the stats. We had a crazy season this season. Uh, let's see here. Zach the Dream Weaver. He had 5,600 yards and 67 touchdowns compared to 10 interceptions, which I believe is the NFL record. We'll check NFL records here in a second. Rushing, what do we have here? Ellis Barker. You had, Tull had two runs for 80 yards and a touchdown. That's funny. Ellis Barker, 2,300 yards, averaging almost 10 yards a carry, 28 touchdowns, 146 yards per game. Carol Tull, he only had two carries. 80 yards. <laughs> That's so funny. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at receiving. Oh, God. Brady Goodman, the beast Goodman. He had 1,400 yards, 23 touchdowns. I believe that's an NFL record, too, folks. DeAntoine, the headless horseman, Hanoian, 1,800 yards, 19 touchdowns. Marshall Ping Pong Holloway had uh, 949, 10. Antonio Callaway, 37, 77, and 10 touchdowns. And then Perry Ellis, 13 receptions for 409 yards and five touchdowns. Barker even got some. Maven got some. We got Wade Rudd in. South DeValve even had one. Stith had one. We got everybody involved this year, folks. So let's see here. Um, go into the blocking. Uh, whatever. It's, let's see who gave up all the sacks on my team. Oh, my, my right tackle gave up nine. That's great. Jesus Christ, dude. All right, defensively, let's see here. All right, um, I'm gonna, I need to re-sign this really good offensive, or left outside linebacker. He's a 60, he's a 98 overall. He wants like 10 million a season. And he had 55 tackles in 17, 16 games. 11, and he had 11 sacks, so I mean, I guess that's good, but... All right, so Schobert and Ragged, they're both old. They're both going to be gone soon. Um, let me see here. Go to Sachs. Oh, damn, Antoine McKell. Um, that's a great, I made a great trade. I think I traded for him. Weldon, yeah, he'll be gone. Oh, I think Ojanobi's going to be gone too because he's old and his contract's up. He wants a ton of money. Um, all right, let's see what interceptions. Schobert, again, God, he's, he's going to be... I'll, I think he's around one more season. I think Raglan's gone after this year. Uh, let's see. Any other deflections? Who had a bunch of deflections? Schobert. Jesus, Schobert. Oh, wow. And then Bell, Peppers, Raglan. Yeah, everybody's doing pretty good. Who has some... Anybody have any forced fumbles? I think I forced a couple of these fumbles anyways. Nate Harrison. That was me. <laughs> Drawn Grant. Let's see. Bell, Raglan. Yeah. All right. Let's see. Here we got kicking. Zane Gonzalez, let's see. I only kicked, attempted nine. He made nine out of ten field goals. The one I missed was a 52. Extra points made. Nine, scored 99 touchdowns that season. Holy shit. He had, oh, and he had, oh, he had three blocked. He didn't miss any. Oh, uh, okay. Punting. Justin Vogel. Still, he's actually not that good, but I was trying to kick short this year so I could cause fumbles. So that's kind of my... So I punted how many times? Let's see, kick return. Punting, I punted 21 times, so like one and a half times a game. Kick return, Derek Stiff. I mean, I guess that's good. Doolin Gregg. We only had 10 touchdowns scored against us. That seem, oh, there was, everything else was a touchback. Punt returns, Stiff. Eh, it's not bad, actually, dude. 28 yards, 8 yards of punt return isn't too bad, so... All right, that's our stats for the season. Legacy leaderboard. I'm up to number one at this point. I've been killing it. Uh, awards. So let's go ahead and look at the yearly awards. Zach Weaver is the motherfucking MVP. Number two is Ellis Barker. Anybody else listed here? No. All right, cool. So, so Weaver and Barker were one and two for MVP. Coach of the year, Jonas J. Ooh, we'll photo lost one more game. All right, we'll go to the AFC. Offensive player of the year. Zach Weaver, number two, Ellis Barker. 
Defensive Player of the Year, Joe Schobert. Wow, I have one, two, three, four guys, five guys on for Defensive Player of the Year. Holy shit, my defense is just out of control. So, um, let's see. Mikel, Bell. That's awesome. All right, let's see. Your Offensive Rookie of the Year. Nobody on my team. I don't have. I don't think I had any offensive rookies, to be honest. Nobody that was playing anyway. So, all right, defensive rookie of the year. Anybody? Nope. I don't think any of my defensive rookies played either. So, best QB, Zach the Dream Weaver. Best running back, Ellis Barker. The Dyson. Oh shit. The Antoine, the headless horseman, Hanoian. Offensive lineman. Of course, my offensive lineman is oh shit. And there's that. There's that guy. He was my center who wants to. Get hurt all the time. Defensive line, nobody. Linebackers. Schobert, Weldon. Schobert and Weldon, huh? All right, let's see here. Best defensive back? Eric Bell, I picked him up. I Did I trade him or did I sign him? I don't remember. All right, let's see here. Kicker. Yeah, I was saying it's all. So, yeah. so, that's pretty good. We had a pretty good damn season. Let's see NFL records. Did we set any records this year? So, it would be season. There we go. I set a record this season for most pass yards in a season, 5,600. I set pass TDs, fucking a new record, Zach Weaver. He had 54 last year and 67 this year, so he's, he's reinventing the wheel. Um, and it's two seasons in the NFL. It's crazy. Uh, rushing yards. Ellis Barker set a – oh, last year he set the record this year. Oh, Tariq Cohen, just short of Tariq Cohen's – record so my my guys have set records three times Let's see rushing touchdowns Ooh, we still have oh, i tied the record dude god damn it fucking lt and me all right Nellis barker had 25 last year so receiving yards Let's see hanoian Ooh, he was close dude he was close he had the third ever got a really good offensive receiving touchdowns oh goodman Oh, Brandy Moss and B. Goodman. And then Hanoian is down here. So so this is a pretty good two of the receivers had ridiculous touchdowns. Catches. There's I'm not up there. We don't do sacks. No. Interceptions. No. So what about game? Passing yards in a game. Nothing this year. Pass TDs in a game. Nothing. We still haven't got that. Oh, Zach Weaver last year had a game of seven. Rushing yards in a game. Uh, Ellis Barker had 271 this year in one game. So, and Ellis Barker had 260 last year. Rushing touchdowns in a game. There we go. He he broke the record. He's crossed the barrier of six touchdowns in a game. That was the divisional playoff game. Receiving yards in a game, nothing. Receiving touchdowns in a game, nothing. Catches, nope. So, there is that as far as that goes. So, let me go ahead now. And uh, take you through to the final roster of this team for season six. Before everybody gets cut, we have uh, QBs. We got Zach the Dream Weaver here, 97 overall. Uh, he's gone. Brock's gone. Let's see our running backs are Barker and Carol Tull. Now we still have Stith. Tull is the, uh, I traded for him. He's a star. So we'll see how this works out. May try to use him a little more next season just to get him in the in the game. Maben, Maben was so close to getting taken away. He really turned the corner at the end of this season. So I think I'm going to give him another chance unless someone ridiculous is available in uh, free agency. So uh, we got let's see, Hanoian 96, Callaway 92, Holloway's an 80, uh, Armstrong, Howell. We got Kerr. I'm finally going to get Kerr involved uh, next year. I think he, I think he's going to take the place of Armstrong here. I may even try to trade Callaway. I may see what I can get for him um, because Holloway does well. We can bump up um, Kerr and everybody. So Howell is going to be gone. He wants too much money. So we'll see. We'll see what happens once we get out of here. Uh, tight ends. Brady Goodman's coming up. Devalve. He'll be gone. I think this is his last season. Uh, T. Riley. W. Rudd, I'm going to keep him around. I think he has one more year after this. I mean, he's, he seemed pretty all right when he was in there. Um, Wade Rudd, so our tight end. We got uh, Dylan King and Perry Briggs as our left tackles. Uh, 76 and 73 for our um, left guards. Like, 
and then Bradford Lee's going to be gone, and he's gone. So we're just going to have Devlin. I'm going to have to really focus on a center. But um, it's really weird that in this game, offensive linemen, like this dude, for example, uh, Bradford Lee, he's like, I think he's like, he's eight, he's an 82 overall, and he is in the top not he's the 11th best center in the entire league. So there's only 11 guys better than him, and he's an 83. So like the offensive linemen doesn't do not progress as well as they probably should uh cooper chase i think i signed him for a few more years um he, he's doing pretty good right tackle so this bennett dude i think he may i think i re-signed him to popic i have him as well i may put popic in over him because he's he's really fucking i may move popic to right left tackle i mean we'll figure it out i'm gonna look in the off season uh mikel 81 got bromley here who we got here? Reed Golston uh, and uh, C. Thomas, uh, defensive tackle. We got uh, Njobi, who's going to be gone. This guy's old, too. So we got a couple guys who are going to be trying to step up. Stephen Hawkins. And we have uh, Teddy Weldon, who will be gone. Uh, I'm not going to re-sign him. He wants way too much money. Um, so we got Sidurius Ward, who's, I mean, not terrible. I mean, we'll see how it goes. Middle linebackers, Ragland and Schobert. I think Ragland's going to be gone after this season. Uh, we'll take a look. And then we got a couple guys creeping up. So we'll see what we can do. This guy right here, though. Albright. Timmons. And uh, I don't know. We're going to see what we can do. Albright. Somebody is, a, somebody is a star somewhere. So, all right. So then we got Eric Bell. Giovanni Blake. Harrison's going to be gone for this year. Grant. Middlebrooks. And Peters. We may need a little bit of cornerback help. Uh, but, you know, got a pretty solid thing there because those two guys at the top I locked in for a few seasons. Free safety, Sidney Floyd and Alan Lemur. They're both uh, they're both re-signed. They're both, you know, creeping up in the 80s here. Strong safety, Jabril Peppers. I think I still have him. He's 28, but I still think I'm a couple years. And I re-signed Tyson Kidd, too. So our secondary is locked down. Zane Gonzalez, he's getting old. I re-signed him for many, many years. I'm curious how long he has left. Um, because I remember probably when I signed him, I even made a comment. Oh yeah, I got after this one. I still got three seasons left. Yeah, he'll be he'll be around a while. And I think the punter is also signed. Vogel have them signed till they're just old as shit. Uh, so that's in contracts. They may retire. And that's fine. If they retire, they retire. Contracts. Yeah, he's got he's got four more seasons too, and they were signed at nothing. So it works out great for me. So here's my picks. We have the first. Uh, the last pick in the first round, then we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. We have 14 picks that range. We have four twos, two threes, two fours, two fives, two sixes, and a seven. So in the offseason, I may try to make some trades. I may see where I have gaping holes in my roster, things like that. So, all right, let me go ahead and take you through the standings here of like how every team did in the league this year. Um, we got the AFC North, which I was 14-2. and two, And then the Steelers and Ravens both made the playoffs at 9-7. and seven. Uh, We got the AFC South. Just the Colts made it 10-6. And, and then if you want to um, see how your team did there, uh, AFC East. The Jets were 7-8-1. Oh, they actually beat the Dolphins out. How sad. 7-8-1. That's all right. I whooped their ass. It was great. The Patriots are way down low at 5-11. AFC West. Uh, Chargers 12-4. Only one other team was 500. NFC North, Packers and the Bears made it. NFC South, the Saints at 10 and 6. Uh, NFC East, the Giants and the Eagles. The Eagles being 9 and 6 and 1 and made the damn Super Bowl. NFC West, the Cardinals at 9 and 7 made it. So, I mean, that's pretty much everything that we have to show you here for our season six in review. I can't really believe it. We're six seasons deep, and we're rolling on to season seven. So here's all the players that are on my team that I'm not going to re-sign um, so you guys can see who they are. Um, we got who is not staying around. We got Malcolm Brock, who's our backup quarterback. I'm not signing him. Um, Teddy Weldon, he just wants too much money, um, basically. Harrison's 29. He's 30 now. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna keep him around. Um, he's regressed as well. 
Uh, Broadford Lee, he, he's not worth it. He spent like eight games on IR this year. He kept getting hurt, stuff the valve. He's he's lost a step. He's over 30 now. Sherman Howe, I would, I would keep him around as a wide receiver, but he wants... He wants two years. He wants $4 million a year, dude. I don't even pay anybody else that money. Then Leo Massey, bro, you're not that you're not that good. So I'm not going to franchise you. So I may try to pick you up in free agency or something like that. So, But all right, guys. I mean, that is all the time that I have for today's video. I just wanted to do a quick uh, season and review. I've done that after every season um, that we do just to kind of see what everything was and how everything went. So um, stick, stay tuned next week. We're going to do the uh, off-season uh, we'll take, um, you know, through free agents and we'll do resign. I'll try to trade for some players. We'll do the draft, etc., And then we'll, uh, we'll get rolling right into season seven. So please make sure to like, share, subscribe, lie to your friends, tell them that we're funny, tell them we're worthwhile. And, uh, you know, comment on the videos. Let me know what you like. Let me know what you don't. Let me know what you want to see. We'll try to see if we can do something different, fit it in for you. But for Jonas, I will see you next week in the off season. I am...